This is a Cyber Motion, uh, which is a product line of a high speed winch, medium speed motor, chain hoist, high speed motor, uh, as well as a trolley track uh, with, uh, uh, with controls right here. Uh, everything plug and play, uh, which is um, uh, international voltage, so it uh, doesn't matter. It, it changes automatically depending on where it is. Um, and the console uh, controls everything in a very, very easy way. Um, the console, when we operate, uh, we're, we're programming uh, an object as opposed to a single hoist or a single winch, uh, because in, these, in the end, the designer tells us that an object has to go to a position and not a hoist or anything like that. So with that comes that we can very easily uh, program. Uh, if I would take a, a, an object, if you look on the screen right here, I can give it a height, I can give it a roll, and I have created a position. And that was it. It's as fast as that. So when a designer is looking for something, I can quickly call things up and ask it for it back. If I want that object back in that position, I recall it and it's there. Now, I, all I have to do is add a time to it because in the end, that's a cue, it's just a time to it. And we put a time to it, we check, we uh, activate a, a, a cue list and I record it to that particular position. Um, it goes back to its position. If I want to now run that particular cue, um, we're already running it. It was all of uh, 10 seconds and we created a cue that is actually working that we can use for a show. Uh, so designers are going to be very fast uh, in interaction with us, uh, which is great. Um, the safety is uh, paramount for us, uh, the highest safety ratings that we can get, SIL3 certified, so that we uh, uh, can work everywhere in the world. Um, the, uh, uh, and it, yeah, it's object oriented, so very fast. Uh, that also means that if we have four, uh, four actuators attached to an object, uh, and for some reason, today we're in a different venue and, the, and one of the actuators doesn't work or doesn't work in that position, I can either move it or completely take it out. I'm talking to an object, so it doesn't matter if I have four uh, hoists or winches hanging attached to it uh, or 10 or 20, it doesn't really matter. So that makes it, uh, again, very easily uh, to control and very fast to uh, load in, load out, uh, very fast to, uh, to create what, what people are asking us. Um, and that's, uh, that's the difference between all the other systems. There's just not a lot of systems, there's no systems out that can do all of this together and in this fast of a way with the interaction of the designers. Uh, if you want, I can have you program something right now and you can control it. It's, it's that intuitive, that fast. Uh, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? I think that's a very good thing because people on the road, when, when a designer, and a lot of times it's a lighting designer, um, that has a lot to do with the set design or with the motion control part aspect of it. They're used to a moving light that, and a moving light position that moves real fast. Um, with all the other systems, it takes too long uh, to, to create that. So the designer becomes not very uh, interested in it anymore because it takes too long to, to, to develop what they want to see. Because we can do it so fast, it becomes a better part of the, pro, uh, of the, uh, the design process uh, but we haven't given up any of the safety features that we want uh, and that we need. If, uh, it, if something is uh, outside of a moving envelope that we created, uh, we don't want it to move. It, it's not allowed to crash into the ground or pull a truss apart because something is in the way. We can control all of that, but we can still do it fast. Uh, and, and for load in, load out, where, and rehearsals where everything is time-based and it needs to uh, hurry up, that's, that's very important. So Yeah, there's a load cells integrated in every hoist, every winch, so that we know exactly what is, calc what is happening. Uh, what that also does for us is that we can, um, uh, we can calculate where the gravity point is of the actual object, which means when it starts moving, uh, it would start swinging because the gravity point changes when we, when we, uh, when we change angles of objects. Uh, but now we can calculate it so we can control what happens with that. Again, to make sure that we have high safety and not objects swinging overhead and... For, for an example, could you pour a bottle of champagne? In theory, yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I, it, it takes some programming, but yes, we can absolutely yeah. do that. I can, I can create um, high... Uh, 
uh, I'm making it go back to its standard position. But I created in about 15 minutes, I created uh, these particular moves, which is an object, sub objects attached to it that relate to the main object and an object hanging underneath it. All of this is moving at the same time and all of it is calculating at the same time, making sure that everything stays safe. Um, and as you can see, you see actually the gravity point moving around. We can actually calculate all of that to make sure that we can stay within the boundaries of what we want, we, we find so safe. Is that gravity movement of a fixed object or an object that the actual weight will change how that Of works? the actual weights that will change, yeah. yeah. Can you change the view of this? Is it like yeah. that angle the point on the yeah. other side? I think the move's almost done, that's, so that doesn't help you. But we can, yeah. we can, we can run it again. No, so, no, that's, that's okay. so uh, obviously you've got something that's hung on, on, on two chain hoists or two winches there, let's say like a lighting bar. Yeah. In your programming, can you have that at its top out dead? Yeah? Yeah. Go to maximum speed as fast as possible, travel half its distance, and then wrap down to only 25 centimeters speed. Yeah. In this last bit. We, we don't, uh, yeah, I could. The, the, we're time-based in our programming. So I don't look at speed, I look at what the designer wants in time. Now, I'm a designer and I'm thinking about speed. Uh, yeah, that's true, but a lot of times you're looking at what it does in a queue, along with the lighting, or we know that the set change takes 10 seconds. So uh, we, we have it time-based. Um, well, obviously what I'm thinking about is I have a piece of scenery that's stored very high because there's another piece of scenery I'm in it fast. Once that piece of scenery is cleared, I need that moving down just before it comes into visual view and then slow to the speed that I want it to run before it's sequenced in the shuttle. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah.